Hi guys, David Stone here again with another episode of Living Fearlessly. And today what I'm going to be talking about is anxiety and the fact that anxiety is a choice. There's so many people that just suffer from it and they say, oh, I'm anxious all the time and everybody's anxious and it's just a fact of life. And I'm here to tell you it is not a fact of life. It is not something that you have to endure because it feels awful, doesn't it? You know, anxiety and worry and stress and fretting and fear. Those are some of the worst human emotions that we all experience. This just sucks to, to be anxious all the time. And maybe you believe, maybe you have this belief that it's, um, it's you know, it, it's just a fact of life. But here is the truth of that. The truth is that anxiety is a mental choice that we make. We've been trained right from birth to be anxious about things. Everybody tells us, oh, you should worry about that. I'd be worried about that if I were you. Mm, that's a kind of a, a worrying situation. And yes, it's true that there are situations that might uh, cause us challenges. But worrying about it and being anxious about it don't help at all, do they? And so if we choose to approach these challenging situations as uh, problems to be solved, that's very, very different than choosing to look at them as things to worry about. See, because right from the youngest age, we were trained, we were taught, we looked at everybody else and they said, well, they, everybody worries, everybody's anxious, so therefore it must be a part of life. Well, the fact that everybody does it does not make it a fact of life. It makes it normal, but, uh, you know, normal is one thing, but normal does not mean required. It's also normal that we have tremendous uh, obesity in the world. It's also normal that we have underfunded schools around. It's also normal that we have... Um, uh, coronavirus right now, all right? But it doesn't mean it's desirable and it doesn't mean we shouldn't be working like crazy to get rid of it. And it's the same with anxiety. Because we can choose at any point in our, uh, in our brains to decide, no, I'm not gonna be anxious about this. I'm gonna tackle the, the challenge, the problem, and solve it. Or if I can't solve it, I'm going to learn to live with it and adapt to it, but I'm going to choose to not be anxious about it because anxiety doesn't do anything for us. There are four major drawbacks to being anxious and anxiety and worry. The first one, as I said a minute ago, is it sucks. It feels horrible. It just ruins your day completely, doesn't it? The second one is that it never solves anything. Have you ever had your life get better because you spent all your time worrying about things? No, we haven't. We've, you know, problem solving, as I said a minute ago, that's a very different thing. And our life gets better when we solve our problems. But worrying about things just goes around and around and around and around in circles. And we're back at the same place still. So it doesn't solve anything. The third problem with it is it makes us sick. Literally sick. Your chronic anxiety has all kinds of health problems that come as a result of it. We've talked about some of them before. We'll talk about more of them later but that's a really good reason to not have it. And the fourth uh, downside, disadvantage, if you want, of anxiety is that it blocks our potential because as long as I'm sitting here worrying about something, I'm not going off trying something new, trying a new adventure and uh, challenging myself to come up, you know, climb the next mountain. So there's all kinds of reasons to get rid of it. Now, you may be told that it's a fact of life, but it's not. It absolutely is not. And, you know, you could, you've got our website and uh, the Facebook group that we're starting. Uh, all these things are resources. If you want to get rid of anxiety in your life and say, no, I, I'm opting out of it. Thanks. I don't need it anymore. Then you're in the right place because we, this is what we specialize here at iFearless. And if that's something you uh, want to talk about, as you know, I'm wide open to talking right there. There's my email address. You can get me directly. And we'll hop on a call and talk about how anxiety is 
merely a choice, and if you'd rather make a different choice, I can help you with that. So there's your homework assignment for today. All right, think about what your life might be like if you didn't have any worry or anxiety there at all. What would you try? What would you do? What would you, um, what would you become? There's your homework assignment today. So I'm going to leave you now, and I'm just going to leave you with the encouragement to live fearlessly.